Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana, and boy, do we have something to show you, baby otters. Take a look at how cute these things are. They're tiny, but they kind of have a little bit of a sad story. Mom rejected them. So Mia, our female otter, has had quite a few babies here. Actually, this is a, these will be her 12th babies now, of all things. Four litters all said and done. But for some unknown reason, she didn't want to care for them this time. And the zookeepers, they did an amazing job of finding the babies after mom hid them in her night house. And when they were found, they were cold, and so they had to be warmed up and revived, and all four of them survived that, which is pretty amazing. So now comes the hard part, and that's hand raising them. Because mom isn't there, that means obviously, well, the zookeepers become mom. And right now, you're looking at Amanda over here, and Nancy right here, and then we have another zookeeper named Allison, and those three are really working hard to do all they can to make sure these babies live. Now listen to this. First of all, they were born small, about 80 grams. What does that mean? Well, normally when they're born, they should be up and over 100 grams when they're born, so they're already small and premature. Number two is that otters like to eat a lot. And get this, right now, they are feeding these baby otters every three hours throughout the day. So that means they have to get up in the middle of the night to give these guys the food that they need. And then on top of that, they have to make sure they can keep them, of course, warm. And they have to make sure, because they're otters, that they stay moist, which basically means that they are wet a lot because they're otters and they can their skin can get dry. And so we have to make sure we have humidifiers on to try to do what we can to make sure they stay well, like I said, wet like a mama otter would keep them. But when you look at them, you see them eating right now, you notice their eyes aren't open. Their eyes usually open after about a month of being born. So give it another three weeks from the day that we made this video and you might start seeing those eyes start to open up. But as you take a look at them eating, you just notice how they nurse just like they would on mom. Just an incredible sight to see. Now, if you remember, of course, otters are mustelids, part of the weasel family related to skunks and wolverines. Obviously, they're very well built for swimming in the water. They've got those incredible adaptations, those feet, that long tail, those special nostrils that close shut so they don't get water up their nose, uh, but just an incredible animal. Now, what we are hoping is that once these guys are big enough, we'll do all we can to get them back with mom and dad, but we can't make any promises that mom and dad will accept them in. And also keep in mind, right now their odds aren't very good that they're going to live, but we're going to do all we can to do what we can, as I say, to get these guys the best chance possible. And these, these keepers here, boy, they are doing all they can to make sure that that, of course, is what happens. So wish us luck. We're going to do everything we can to give these pups the fighting chance that they deserve. Guys, until next time, I'm Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana.